protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Ladies and gentlemen, in the last week, we have seen Donald Trump go from surging in the polls to now losing percentages at an increasing rate. Now, we're going to discuss why that's going on on the nightly news tonight, but let's look at some of the facts here. Now, a lot of these polls are asking more than just who are you voting for for president. 61% of voters think Hillary Clinton is dishonest, yet somehow she's opening up a lead on Donald Trump. 12% of Republicans are backing Hillary Clinton, while only 5% of Democrats are backing Donald Trump. For the first time in this election cycle, we're seeing a Libertarian and the Green Party candidates enter these polls, and the results have not helped Donald Trump, but Hillary Clinton. When asked who's qualified to be president, 65% said Hillary Clinton versus 43% from Trump. An interesting thing that 61% would disprove of Hillary Clinton's honesty, but say she's qualified to be president. Based on temperament, 64% say that Hillary Clinton has the advantage, while 37% go for Trump. 72% think Clinton has the knowledge to serve more effectively, while 40% would say the same for Donald Trump. Project 538 has broken down this election by the Electoral College based on these polls and are currently giving Hillary Clinton 335 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 202 and now give Hillary Clinton a 77% chance of winning the general election. Every major poll that the New York Times studied has Hillary Clinton ahead of Donald Trump. This is a phenomenon that we did not see last week. According to the New York Times in a Sunday review, Cliff Zukin claims that the election polling is in fact a disaster. I quote, election polling is in near crisis and we pollsters know it. So what's the solution? There isn't one. Our old paradigm has broken down. On Sunday, Breitbart's News Daily with Sirius XM host Alex Marlowe, political strategist Pat Cadell outlined his charge that Reuters tampered with its own daily tracking poll to manufacture a sudden surge for Hillary Clinton. They not only changed their formula to put Hillary ahead, they went back and changed the results for a week of results where Trump was ahead and then they turned those into Hillary leads. They also erased all the former polling uh, off the site. They didn't tweak their procedure. They cooked it. Never in my life have I seen a news organization and a supposedly reputable poll do something so dishonest. They have made a switch as much as nine points in their results from the, from the beginning of last week, 25th and 26th. It is, beyond doubt, the most outrageous thing. And, and this is what the media is willing to do to try to elect her. You must go to the real issue, though, Alex, which is this poll is nothing but a part of a media offensive in the 45 years since I was a child in presidential, top-level presidential campaigns. I have never seen the media on such a jihad and so involved in hiding facts and not following up, and this is a crisis of the democracy, what the press is now doing. Now, if we're worried about polling fraud, we also need to be aware of election fraud. Homeland Security Chief Jay Johnson has said he has concerns that hackers could infiltrate the voting system. Jay Johnson said Wednesday he is increasingly concerned that hackers could infiltrate the nation's electoral system and said the Obama administration is considering ways to bolster it from attacks. The website TrueDemocracyParty.net has made a report on voting machines. They've also shared multiple YouTube videos that show how these voting machines can not work. Massive potential documented voting machine fraud has led the True Democracy Party to one conclusion. You cannot trust voting machines. 
So these are the facts regarding the current polls in the 2016 presidential race. Joining me now in studio is Owen Schroyer. Now, Owen, this is pretty incredible. They're already kind of preparing everyone that this election's going to be rigged. You can't trust the voting machines. And we're seeing now how they are rigging the polls. Break this down for us a little bit. I mean, obviously, we know that polls can be swayed, but how are they kind of gaming the numbers here? Well, and that's what they do, too. They groom you for their overall agenda. And what we're seeing now is all the headlines are showing that Donald Trump is now losing to Hillary Clinton, and Clinton has been surging since the completion of the Democratic National Convention. But when we looked at some of these numbers, specifically when we looked at the McClatchy poll, it shows that 36% of the people polled were actually Democrats. Another 37% were independent, um, in which case I would say most of those people are probably Democrats or leaning left uh, at least in this election, right. so the that's not a that fair are, number. These, these are the people that are really swayed by the media who are saying, you know, wow, Trump's outrageous, he's saying these terrible things, I guess I should vote for Hillary. Well, and how do you explain this, Leanne? 61% of voters think Hillary Clinton is dishonest, yet in the same poll, she surges ahead of Trump 10 points. So, so what does that tell you? Does that tell you that people are convinced Donald Trump is a bad candidate? Or does it tell you that they are completely just rigging these polls, that it's just right. made up statistics? Right. And of course, it's always the way that they ask these questions. And also interesting to note that they do so many polls before the elections, but they don't ever do any exit polling data to see, you know, are we having the same people voting um, as the results are showing? So they don't ever do the polls afterward. And it's, you know, it's curious. Well, and the timing is really key here, too, where after the complete just destruction that was the Democratic National Convention, really it was a failure, I think, right. to an outside observer or to anybody who was there and saw the protesters. So now they want to claim Clinton surging. But we also have to think about the fact that for the first time, they're including Jill Stein and Gary Johnson in these polls. And what they're claiming is that it's polling from both parties. But I think when you have most of the people being interviewed as Democrats, you're gonna have that polling from the Republican people you're polling, not the Democratic people who are gonna vote for Hillary Clinton. So I, I would say that it's a, it's, a, it's a very timely thing they're trying to do right now, on top of the fact they're saying that Trump might drop out of the race. Right. So it's amazing how this has been perfectly timed, perfectly encapsulated, on top of what I think was the big bombshell to this surge for Hillary Clinton, was the Khan and Trump debates, mm -hmm. Trump was surging to that right. point. He'd never been more popular. All of a sudden, this stuff comes out with Khan, and it's perfect timing for the mainstream media to run these polls, uh, skew these numbers with the people they're polling, and use the Trump-Khan debate as kind of the you know, battleground that was what started the downward slide of Donald Trump. Right. Exactly, because you're seeing even now the media, that's they're still focusing on on that, bringing out Benghazi victims, parents, or some other gold star family members saying, you know, shouldn't he apologize, shouldn't he? And they're even flipping the script saying, no, Hillary Clinton should apologize. She's the one that's actually done this stuff. And, you know, I was watching MSNBC earlier, and they were reporting on how Trump said he saw a video or something uh, of the $400 million exchange. He could have been talking about a video report that he saw about this, but they're, they're reporting about that, not the actual news that was this ransom payment to Iran. So that's what the media is doing, is they're only focusing on what they want to focus on, and people really need to wake up and pay attention to the fact that the media is in an all-out assault against Donald Trump because they do not want him to win. They're totally rigging this thing for Hillary Clinton because she is their establishment candidate. Well, let's keep in mind, they already stole it from Bernie. This is the same Democratic Party that had dead people voting for Obama. And I think we're reaching an interesting dynamic here, Leanne, where what is going to win out in the end? Because we know that the people don't trust the mainstream news. We've seen that in polls. So what dynamic is going to win here? Is the dynamic of the American people realizing that the mainstream news is not for the truth? Or will the mainstream news propaganda win out and defeat what the people are actually thinking and feeling. Right, and I think all of those people in the media are 
really going to be, be in for a shock when they're either A, out of a job, or B, out of freedom in this country if Hillary Clinton wins. Owen, thank you so much. And thank you guys for tuning into the show tonight. We will see you here again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. We have ended the big mega sale, the biggest in our history. Now, we have kept three items, though, this week. That's Brain Force, Wall Supplies Last, the amazing nootropic for $17.76, normally $29. Leading competitors that have similar formulas are $60 to $70 to $80. So we're already a great deal at that price. It has some ingredients that are controlled or prescription in Europe. Uh, that's how powerful it is. Read about it for yourself at InfoWarsLife.com. That's 40% off. DNA Force, our flagship product. It's a big deal to offer 30% off on that. We're extending that. And then Vitamin Mineral Fusion. All the vitamins, all the minerals, the amino acids, the cofactors to help upload it. Great tasting fruit punch. Organically flavored. There's nothing else out there. It's uh, like it. It's amazing. It's plant-derived minerals. InfoWarsLife.com, that's 30% off, but I'm going to go further. Boom, here it is. Normally, you sign up for auto ship, you get 10% off. You still get that on top of it. I'm doing free shipping on everything, whether it's one Hillary for prison shirt or a Bill Clinton rape shirt uh, or whatever it is, whatever informational warfare weapon you want to help spread the word and meet like-minded people. Free shipping store-wide. Free shipping store-wide. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get 40% off on BrainForce, you can get 30% off on DNA Force. I'm not going to sit here and belabor this. People should really go read and see the, 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 the hundreds of studies that are there breaking down just what BioPQQ does and, and, and why this is such an amazing nutraceutical and why it's so important that folks take it daily because the compounds in this are just amazing. I mean, you just know they're from God. But I'm not going to get into the science. Go to InfoWarsLife.com. Go there to the page for yourself, and you can check it all out at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsStore.com is the umbrella site, and your purchases make it possible everything we do here. So I want to thank you all for your support, your prayers, and so much more. We're not even able to post probably half of the reviews that come in. And the reason why is because if anyone mentions a disease or they got better from a disease, the third party review sites that we subcontract out to that monitor these reviews, if there's any mention of a disease or anything in there, they, it can't go up online because of the regulations with the FDA. So please feel free to call in as much as, as you want. We love hearing about your stories. And this is just DNA for us, but you know, the best thing that I love to do and the best thing I tell people to do is just go online, infowarslife.com and just read all the reviews.